A Westfield father gets justice after his son died of a drug overdose two years ago. Tonight, he shares with our Rachel Wilkerson what it took to get his son's drug dealer charged and convicted of a crime. I feel better than, um, than I have in a long time. I buried Jake two years ago on this date today, July 19th. Jacob Lampy was Richard's only son. We spent hundreds of hours on the golf course. It was wonderful. We took a lot of vacations. I have a lot of memories of that, so that was nice. Jake died at his home in July of 2022 from fentanyl poisoning. He was 23 years old. The Xanax pills he thought he was buying were fake. Was a good kid. He, you know, he made some bad choices, but he didn't deserve to die. Right away, Mr. Lampy gave Jake's cell phone and other evidence to law enforcement to find who was responsible. With work from the Westfield Police Department, the DEA, and Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office, Benjamin Ingram was charged with dealing a controlled substance, resulting in death. When you purchase something like a Xanax or other pills that could be like designated as pharmaceutical type pills, whether it's Xanax, Adderall, or a Percocet or M30s, you know, people that are mis making a mistake to use that, they're not signing up to die that day. And that's where the poisonings come in. On Friday, a jury found Ingram guilty. It was just such a sense of relief. Justice that took two years. He had eight delays, eight continuances on the trial. It's very stressful because it opens up a lot of wounds. I'm, I'm really relieved that that's over. It's a tough process, Lampy says, to get through, but he encourages families to stick together and not be afraid to reach out for help. We talk about this a lot, Rachel, how important it is to hold people accountable that are poison people. Lots of people are struggling, and you're better off to get it out there and not be embarrassed about it because there's, there's no shame in this. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Ingram faces up to 40 years in prison. He's scheduled to be sentenced next month. Lampy created a foundation in honor of Jacob, and that information can be found at our website at WRTV.com.